You know something I actually did off screen that I never do before gym battles? I actually saved off screen. What the what is this? Since when does Juddle save off screen before he even starts the recording? Well, yeah, well, I guess because the first gym leader that had a cliffhanger. So, well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Juddle Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we made it to Sunny Shore City, met Flint, found Volkner, and we went through his gym, which actually took longer than I thought it would. And now off screen, let me just make sure I heal, because I remember I did heal off screen. Or hopefully I did, maybe I accidentally didn't, and no. Earthquake is 10 out of 10, okay. Because I really didn't want to waste another Max Ether, because I'm like, ugh. I only have one left, do I really want to waste it? Well, I'll use it for a better time, because maybe like, uh, the Elite Four or anything. Because I don't know if you can even buy them in shops, but okay, let's stop wasting time, let's fight Faulkner. Alright, Challenger. It's not often, but some trainers manage to come and challenge me. But they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. Sigh. I'm Volkner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but... Anyway, I guess we'd better get this done. I hope you're the trainer who will make me remember how fun it is to battle. This is... Volkner, the gym leader! 848, baby! And yes, this is Volkner. The Sunny Shore City Gym Leader starting out with a Jolteon. And Dracor is the perfect match for this Jolteon, because one Earthquake should be able to fully kill this guy. And luckily, Garchomp, I think, is probably one of the fastest ground type, well, the fat, one of the fastest part ground types there is. So he is going to be going f pretty fast through these, and I don't have to worry about any moves that these guys might have. And I don't even know if that needed a critical hit, but it did a critical hit, and we killed that Jolteon. Now that we have that Jolteon done, we have Luxray. Ooh, let's keep battling. Now, Luxray's a little bit worrisome if you have a ground type. He has an ice type move. But if you have Earthquake, you should be able to go before it because, well... Well, we're faster than a Luxray, and Luxray has pretty bad speed. So we should be able to out... Well, we already did outspeed that Luxray, and hopefully we should be able to kill it with one Earthquake. And that is what happened. So yeah, that is the Pokemon that I was actually worrying about for this gym, but that went down pretty fast. Oh, 1995, that was a year of seniors who... whatever. Now, they're going to college for freshman year, because I remember that was the senior class when I was freshman, but... Electivire, let's keep battling. Now, Electivire is his main Pokemon, it's not that bad, and look at that Pokemon capsule, pretty dang awesome. Now, okay, that's right, oh no, that was Quick Attack, yeah. For some reason, it likes to use Quick Attack. I was actually watching Super Skarmory's Let's Play of it, and he actually died. I forgot what Pokemon he was using, but his Pokemon died to a Quick Attack. But I doubt Earthquake is going to be finishing off this Electivire. I heavily doubt. Or, or maybe Earthquake will take it out in one shot. Oh my goodness, dang. And we're almost level 50, but Raichu. Yeah, this gym battle's not lasting that long. I don't know if it's because I'm slightly over level, but this is it, my trump card. Okay. Well, guess what, man? We have Earthquake, and we should be able to defeat this last Pokemon. Now, yeah, Garchomp is a little overpowered since how fast he is, but now this Earthquake should defeat this Raichu, because it, it defeated the Electivire, which is level 50, I think. It can defeat a level 46 Raichu in one shot, and yes, Dracor, the first Pokemon to reach level 50. Awesome. And now we have defeated Volkner. You've got my beat. Well, you got me beat. Yes, we beated you. He is happy with us. Yes, 6,000 Poké Dollars, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. He <laughs> he Ha ha ha. That was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't know when. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your eighth gym badge. You've earned this. And we received the Beacon Badge or Bacon Badge from Volkner. It's Beacon Badge, not Bacon. Oh, yeah. And yes, I did that too. The Beacon Badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall, even when you're not in a battle. Waterfall happens to be key if you're going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all 8 Gym Badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you without fail. So, if for some reason you want to trade over like a level 100 Pokemon to fight against the Elite Four and Champion, you can do that, but why would you want to do that? Uh, it's basically saying that you can, trade, tr that you can trade over any Pokemon of any level to the game. I want you to take this, too. And we obtained TM57, which I think might be Charge Beam, or is it? Yep, it is Charge Beam. Except we never got to see them use Charge Beam, because the only move we got to see them use was actually Quick Attack. So, yeah, Volkner, 
If you don't have a Garchomp, he is going to be a little bit tough of a gym leader, but... Yeah, that didn't last that long. Because, see, I, I was a little worried about the Luxray, but then I remembered, wait, Luxray speed absolutely sucks. So, I was thinking, what? Why was I worried about that? And really, the only button you have to press is this twice. Actually, no, three times to actually get to the end. Now, let's talk to this guy for the last time. Oh, Juttle, did you beat the gym leader? Well, of course you did. But, you know what? You've made it into my mind yet. You, do you know why? Because you and your Pokemon are capable of achieving so much more. But I am proud of you. Eight Sinnoh badges. Way to go, kiddo. Yes. All the gym badges in the game are acquired and are mine. Now, for some reason, I keep feeling like there's going to be someone meeting us out here. And I believe it actually turned nighttime in that battle since it's actually 8.04 p.m. right now. And you know what? I am going to be healing up quickly. And whoa, Sunny Shore City looks so weird at night. Originally, I was going to record Sunny Shore City, like, the when we first got into it at night and do a joke like, Oh my god, I'm in Sunny Shore City, but it's not sunny outside. Yeah, let's heal up. Well, now that we have all eight gym badges, it is basically time for us to go to the Pokemon League. Or, well, maybe not yet, but let's go to where the thing is, and we have to actually go to where this ocean is where I wanted to show the first time. And now this person will actually stop us here. Whoa, whoa, no, it's Tim. Hey, Juttle. What the... You went and got all eight gym badges of Sinnoh? Aw, oh, you, that's wicked. I envy you. I guess he hasn't gotten them yet. But don't think you've won. Because I'm going to be the toughest trainer ever. You watch me. Before I was dreaming, I just wanted to be like my dad. Now, things are different. I thought about what being a trainer involves. I thought about what Pokemon are. We're going to get tougher one step at a time. I'm not going to challenge you to a battle now. I hate to say it, but I know you're tougher than me. But not a whole lot tougher, just a little. Our difference is about a yard. Nah, not even an inch. What I'm trying to say is that I will catch up to you in no time. If you don't hurry to the Pokemon League, I'll leave you in my wake. Okay. Then we have this person saying, Was that your friend? <laughs> Seeing how you two get along made me happy somehow. It must be wonderful having a friend like that. A person that you can share, every share anything and everything with. A person you can complete without... You can compete without with a person you can compete with without fighting. Jeez. Um, it made me feel sort of warm seeing you two. It may seem odd, but I'd like you to have this as my thanks. This isn't much, but and we obtain actually HM07, which is waterfall. Like I said, she would give you water. I don't even know if I said she'd give you waterfall. And that actually reminded me that I need to quickly go and get my other Pokemon. Okay, I think the bug is gone, and I saw that it did pick up on the camera, so I'm like, eh, let's not do this. You know, of course, a bug has to fly right in front of my camera while recording this, you know, and the only reason I didn't get the HM2 slave here was because, yeah, but right now we are going to be going and we are going to be teaching HM, new HM2, actually. Let's, at, let's deposit Crobat for now. Let's deposit that person in box one. And then let's withdraw the other Pokemon known as HM2, or crap, not HM2, new HM2. There we go. And then we can teach it Waterfall, and then it will know all the HMs it needs to know. I'm teaching this Waterfall mainly because I, well, this will actually mean that I won't have to, I will have to, I, I can be able to bring five of my team members with me. Now let's quickly, crap, I need to actually go to the TMs and HMs bag in my bag in order to do this, dang. I'm just not in it today with going through this. And now with Charge Beam, I might need to think of what... I, I might teach that to Shocker, but I need to look at its stats first. Now, who should... Okay, where is... Oh, there's Waterfall. It's right before Rock Climb. And now Waterfall's not really all that powerful move. Surf is actually more powerful. And also, I could teach it to Jet, but that'd be stupid, because Jet is a special attacker. Waterfall's a physical attacking water move, which I believe this is the first generation to have physical attacking water moves. Yes, a move should be deleted. And what move should be deleted? The only move that can be deleted, yawn. And yes, now new HM2 is completely out of regular moves. It is fully equipped with HMs. L let's just look at its moveset, just to see how bad its moveset is filled with HMs. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, so his moveset is Cut, Rock Smash, Rock Climb, and Waterfall. That is definitely not a good move set if you think about it. And now, uh, you know what? I have I decided since Garchomp is overpowered anyways, I'm actually going to be leaving Garchomp 
when we go out to the sea and go into the Pokemon League. Because, yes, the next route is actually a Pokemon League thing. I know this feels weird that we're in here for so long, but I just decided we are going to be switching out these Pokemon, and we are not going to be overpowered through this area. Now, I believe there's not many electric types anyways, and e even if there are a few electric types, I can defeat them on my own without a ground type, so it really doesn't matter. And now, I believe it is time for us to set on our journey. Our little bit of a long journey we can do, and, okay, I, need, I just remember, do we have enough max repels? Because I didn't buy any max repels when I went to that store back in, I believe, a few parts ago. Actually, not a few parts ago, a part ago. So where are the max repels? 13. Uh, I'm actually going to be buying a few right now. Be right back. I really hope 20 max repels will last for the whole entire thing through the Victory Road and stuff. And yes, Victory Road is the one area we have to go to. And now, what we have to do is we have to go on this route here and surf. Now, I'm going to be doing a little bit of surfing here. I'm not going to be going throughout the whole entire route. But I'm just going to be going on a little bit of the route. And before we start going, probably a good idea to put a max repel on. So let's use one of these max repels. And now we won't be able to run into any wild Pokemon. And then we can just surf along this route. And I probably should have switched to Shocker now thinking of it. I'm determined to go to the Pokemon League, no matter how hard it is. I believe that is actually the first time we ran into a Luminion, but now, let's actually start out with an Al No, let's actually bring out a Grass type, because Grass types are also good against Water types. I believe they're both times too effective, so let's fight this person. Excuse me for wearing my bikini. For something I haven't mentioned, but this route will actually have some trainers that are pr pretty much tougher than we've actually fought before. I don't know if we're going to be having any Gyaradoses or anything, but I trained at Pokemon Gym 2. Don't think you're going to win easily. Something else I want to mention is throughout these next few areas, we're going to be- Ooh, god, I accidentally have a, don't have a good setup for this one. Well, actually, not that bad. I can always switch, but what I wanted to say is throughout these next two areas, you're going to be seeing a lot of Pokemon we haven't seen before. I kind of remembered that when we saw the Mantine and then the Luminion. So yeah, deep breathing before battle. Breathe in and out. Okay, so after that battle, I gotta say that's what the first episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, because oh my goodness, that battle lasted a pretty long time, so 
In the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we are going to be continuing on this water route and maybe starting to go through this place that is going to be after this water route known as Victory Road. So this has been Plays, saying see you later and goodbye.